You are watching an Al Bear review. Cue the music. <laughs> to when the, the show return is on. Um, Bob Whitmore, basically he is the president of Harmony and Hope who basically took over Calvary because the Deacon Board pretty much said that's the way to go. That's our future. You know, all that good stuff like that. Um, the reason I say that that's a name we have to watch, because it was like at the beginning of the trailer and it was just like, they really want to push this white guy in our face. You know what I'm saying? And so it appears as though he will have a little puppet I cannot think of the black guy name from the trailer, but he's played in a lot of, it's a movie that I like back in the day called Motives, and he was in it, Shamar Moore was in it, and um, I can't think of his I have to find his name later, but it appears that he's gonna use him as his puppet or whatever to kind of run Calvary and do whatever. So, I made a note about that, and the reason I feel like, you know, that's important because I'm thinking, that once the family, first of all, you know the hunters, once the family, the uh, Greenleaf family start to make their play to try to regain the rank and the control and the whatever Calvary, I believe this dude, this, this, you know, this puppet, this, this black man, I wish I knew his name, he's gonna be their way in. Um, somehow, some way, I feel like they are going to have to convince him that his white man is using him as a puppet because he has a black face and this is a black church. Well, not necessarily a black church, but predominantly black church. And uh, basically, just using him to you know, bring the money in. Now, to me, we all know church is a business. Um, whether folks want to admit it or not. Uh, and the fact that Bob Whitmore is a president his title as president of Harmony Hope just lets me know that he's in it for the money. Now, what I don't know about Bob Whitmore is do he preach? Can he preach? Is he going to preach in season four? We don't know. I don't know. But it, he's definitely going to make himself an enemy uh, of the Greenleaf family. Now, let's talk about how the Greenleaf is going to try to get the church back. In a perfect world, it would be perfect to see the Greenleaf family all working as one, putting together a plan to get the church back. However, 
Lady May is still a part of the Green Bay family. So therefore, Lady May motives, um, agenda is going to be put before anything, uh, any agenda of the family. So, from what I've seen through the trailer, I believe it's going to be maybe, I'm going to say, I don't know, Jacob will have a plan. I'm going to say three. I'm going to say Gigi's going to have a plan. Two, Gigi and Bishop is going to have a plan to get uh, Calvary back. Lady May is going to have a plan to steal Calvary so she can somehow be the head, you know, minister, head priest or whatever. And Jacob is going to make a play to get Calvary back because, you know, he just feels like it's his turn to do whatever. Uh, maybe, because if, if I'm not mistaken, I, excuse me, I may have to go back and watch season three, but if I'm not mistaken, Jacob is no longer with Triumph, um, if I'm not mistaken, because of the whole Rochelle pretty much stealing money and whatever, and he just signed stuff, yada, 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 but I'm pretty sure he's not with Triumph, so maybe Jacob is going to have a plan as well to try to regain control of the church and everything. Now, the issue is, I'm picking a side. I'm going to pick Gigi and Bishop's side, Grace and Bishop. I just feel like, hey, out of the Greenleaf family, they are, you know, I know it's a TV show, you know what I'm saying, but they have that anointing over them, you know what I'm saying? They have that, that, this, that, uh, eat factor to lead a congregation, to, to lead a flock of sheep, you know what I'm saying? They have that. They are very likable. They are very approachable. They are very knowledgeable. They are very understanding, as opposed to Jacob and his mother. Uh, Lady May is all about the power and, and the perks that come along with being uh, the head pastor of Calvary. And with Jacob, it would just be him trying to satisfy his wife and gaining a certain status within the community that she always wanted because you know she she wants to be Lady May so bad. Um even to to stay with Jacob's wife um Clarissa, Larissa, Marissa, some type of Rissa, that's her name. Um in the trailer she went as far to tell Gigi that ever since she returned this family you know, has, has, you know, she basically been the family of mine. The family been going through pretty much a shit show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which is kind of hard to disagree with, but it just goes to show you that her motives are not godly like. Because since Gigi has come home, they have, well, Uncle Mac is dead now, but they pretty much arrested. Uh, sister Faith Melissa, as well as a molester of other young female ladies or young ladies within the community, you know, for Mac. She took Mac down. She was the reason Mac was exposed. And yet, only thing Clarissa is worried about is, oh, how the family is going down. The only reason why she feels that about Gigi is because her husband could not do what he needed to do to you know, become the success of the bishop that he, he could keep in his pants. And me personally, I don't look at pastors, ministers, whether they male or female, as a God. I just look at them as people who God has given the tools, the gift, the blessings uh, to speak his word through them. That's it. I don't look at them and say, oh, they're so godly-like, and yada, 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 yada. Um, so I don't really care that Jacob can't keep in his thing. I really don't because, A, he should not be married. The only reason why he is married is because Clarissa, or whatever name, made him marry her. In my opinion, and she's definitely not going to divorce him, especially with potential uh, status, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Basically, uh, status elevation is, 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 is could that you know in place or, or could be in place once again. So um, I don't even know why I was going. But anyways, 
Yeah, yeah, so it don't really bother me that Jada can't keep in his pants because I don't look at it. You know, I just, I, I don't. I know that's probably going to sound the best or whatever because, you know, most people are like, oh, you're a pastor. But, you know, it's kind of like he only married for an image tomorrow. But anyway, let me get back on the song. Also, this season, the bishop is going to have, the bishop is going to be on some fire. Uh, uh, he going to have to deal with his two million IRS deal. And he's going to have to deal with the arson awesome charges that uh, was lingering from the previous calendar in order for him to collect the insurance to build a new and approved calendar. If I'm Bishop, if I'm Bishop, I'm doing whatever it is I can do to put the blame on Mac. Mac is gone. Uh, put the blame on Mac. Clear your name. I mean, even the most godliest people lie. They have to. You have to do what you have to do, Bishop. Now, as far as these two million that you owe, whoo, Bishop, why? You might have to, you know, <laughs> I don't know what Bishop could do. Because, I, I, you know, me, I don't see Bishop working. I don't know if Bishop going to have to sell some, 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 some dope or something. I don't know, but that would be a nice little storyline for the bishop to start getting into drugs and pay his two million dollar debt bill, but that's just, you know, what I think would be a good storyline, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, also this season, now what pissed me off at the end of last season, it, they made it seem like Lady May and Bishop is, 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 is divorces, is whatever, they gonna get back together, be one big happy family. And I pray to God they don't, I, I just, I just, I, I, it's sad, but I ain't, I mean, I want to see Bishop single, man, or at least with somebody else, because Lady Faye can't stand him, cannot stand him. And uh, it was a scene in the trailer where Lady May gonna tell Bishop that she loves him, but as far as being in love with him, that does not exist. Well, uh, what are you doing here? Get out of my home, or, or maybe I should leave, or whatever. I don't know how they gonna work that out, but, you know, that's that you whoo, that's something that's to hear better yet swallow me personally I'm not a fan of Lady May this should be kicked it to the side and it just furthermore made me realize that this season is gonna be the lady may have a plan on how she's gonna get Calvary back Bishop and Gigi gonna have to come up with something and Jack gonna do this thing also season four it, it appears that Grace secret about whatever happened in Phoenix Arizona is gonna come out apparently she lied to the police about what God knows what um, but you know what if they've been talking about this Phoenix Arizona why she been home situation for the longest and I don't know if it's just me but I really don't care unless she I don't know what Grace could have done in Phoenix storyline that could just make me be so interested. Like, I'm more interested in seeing how they gonna get Calvary back and how they gonna go after Rochelle and Skanks. That's all I'm interested in. They didn't show neither Rochelle or Skanks in the, the trailers. So I don't even know they gonna be in this season. <laughs> um, so anyways, um... Like I say, uh, Harmony and Hope basically is taking over the church. They're going to try to recruit Grace to come in under their wing or whatever the case. But you know, Grace got a bigger plan, a bigger image or whatever the case is. So I'm rooting for Team Grace and Bishop. I just feel like they have to be on the same team just because they motives are genuine, unlike Lady Man and Jacob. But uh, not sure what to expect from the, the little girls, Zora and... Um, Whatever Grace daughter name, I forget her name on the top of my head, but hopefully Isaiah won't be back this season. Although I wouldn't mind seeing him come back and <clears throat> No, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Um, I don't. But um that's pretty much all I have, man. Um <sighs> if you guys got any ideas about what the storyline could be with the trailer, uh inside the trailer made y'all. I guess see or predict or whatever gonna happen. And y'all just drop it down in the comment section below. But until September 3rd, my Green Leaf family, I'm out of here. I'll catch up with y'all later. Peace.